Okay, now I'm uh, finally received my uh, i i bolts. So I'm uh, installing them now. But uh, the small concern I knew was coming was the uh, the fact that all this epoxy was going to uh, uh, clog these movable uh, uh, nut plates. So for those that are accessible, that was uh, fairly easy. I just delicately put the uh, the tap back in there and going back and forth to remove all the, the glue from the inside of the thread the um, and then I replace it with the actual with a, a spare bolts and then I just uh, wiggled it a bit until it was free to move again and uh, that's all good I also had to re-drill the uh, I guess ream the uh, holes in the wood because the the actual epoxy took some uh, some thickness in there. Of course, the ones that were not accessible, like those, uh, they'll just be uh, they'll just have to be uh, the wood be drilled the correct diameter, then uh, go with the the uh, tap going back and forth, and uh, to remove the the surplus epoxy that's in the thread of the nut plate. If uh, obviously if there's a trick to this, uh, please tell me. I don't know if maybe put a piece of I don't know maybe put a nut in there where we can. Uh, plastic pin. Uh, come on, gentlemen, give me some pointers here. All right, this is a big moment. I can go right, left, right, left. Got my friend Dan here. So the first time this is actually going somewhere. Yeah, these are not the correct uh, eye bolts for now, but at least they've been cleaned out and uh, reamed. The wood has been reamed. I need to put some spacers here. Actually, some questions here. What kind of uh, spacers do I put here? I got some aluminum uh, solid bushing. Is that good? Or should I put like steel washers? I guess another question would be uh, now I've got like a one eight gap between the lower the lower eye bolt and the hole for the clevis pin. Should I raise it from the top here, or should I put uh, lots of uh, of uh, washers between the bottom eye bolts and the hole? Okay, let's have fun for left, right, left, right. Wow.